Holiday Clubbers. It's Gloria Good News here, back for some more KMPC SCTV. Last week, we were learning all about challenges. Sometimes, in order to face those challenges, we need to be very, very brave. Now, I want to ask you a question. What's the hardest thing about being brave? Have a think. Today's story is all about someone who had to decide whether to be brave or not. So over to Louise to hear all about how they managed to take on the challenge. Boys and girls, it's lovely to be able to chat to you this morning. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all in person again when we're able to get back to church. Now today's story is a really exciting one. It's got nasty villains and brave heroes and it's from a really interesting book in the Bible. It's a book that is all about God's people. Do you know yet which book it might be? It is the book of Esther. This is a really great story and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you now. Now, I'd like you to join in with me while I tell the story. It's not easy, you know, telling these stories in my own house with nobody about. And so I'd love you to join in and help me along. This is what you're going to do. There are four main characters in this story. There's Esther. And when I say her name, I want you to say, oh, wow. There's King Xerxes. And when I say his name, I want you to say, oh, your majesty. There's Esther's very wise cousin, Mordecai. And when I say his name, you're going to go, hmm, wise. And then finally, there's the villain, Haman. And when I say his name, you're going to just go, Arr. okay? So will we have a quick practice of that? Esther, oh, wow. King Xerxes, oh, your majesty. Mordecai, hmm, wise. Haman, Arr. very good. Okay, let's begin. King Xerxes, your majesty, needed a new queen. Now, because he was the king, he couldn't marry just anyone. So to help him decide, he held a massive competition. Women from all over his kingdom were brought to see if they might be the new queen. The king chose Esther. Oh, wow. She was really lovely in every way. And it was really quite amazing that she'd been chosen to be the queen. King Xerxes, your majesty, didn't realize that Esther, oh wow, had no family and that she was a Jew. She'd been brought up by her cousin, a really wise man called Mordecai. Hmm, wise. And he warned her not to mention her background. There was a big celebration when the new queen was crowned and lots of very important people were invited. One of them was a man called Haman. Arr. Haman Arr, was one of the king's top advisors and he thought he was very, very important. So important that he thought people should really bow down to him. And as he walked to the palace, most people did, except for one, Mordecai, hmm, wise. Mordecai, hmm, wise, refused to bow to Haman, Arr. And that made Haman, Arr, so angry. He decided there and then that he was going to get rid of Mordecai, hmm, wise. And because Mordecai, hmm, wise, was a Jew, one of God's special people, Haman, er, decided that he would get rid of all the Jews in the kingdom, which would include, of course, Queen Esther. Oh, wow. So Haman, er, went to King Xerxes, your majesty, and told him that there was a group of people within his kingdom who didn't fit in. They had their own way of living, their own rules, and they wouldn't submit to the kingdom of Xerxes, your majesty. Xerxes, your majesty, didn't really care at all. He said, fine, 
go ahead, do whatever you like to those people, get rid of them if you want to. But he didn't know that that included his own lovely wife, Esther. Oh, wow. Mordecai, hmm, wise, told Esther, oh, wow, about the awful plan to destroy her people. Esther, oh, wow, was really scared. What could she do about it? Mordecai, hmm, wise, told her that this might be why she'd been brought into this special situation. It might be for this very time. She could save her people. Esther, oh wow, decided that she would speak to the king. It sounds easy, but actually it was a really dangerous thing for her to do. If King Xerxes, your majesty, hadn't requested to speak to you and you just spoke to him, he could have you killed. Esther, oh wow, was so brave that even though she was scared, she said, I'll do it. And if I die, I die. That was so brave. She spent time preparing and sitting before God and then she went to King Xerxes, your majesty. She approached him and spoke to him and he was pleased to see her and he didn't have her killed. Phew. She asked him if he would come to a dinner party with her the next day and she also invited him and her. When they were all together at the party, she told King Xerxes, your majesty, about Haman, her horrible plan, and that it would mean that she would be killed because she was a Jew too. King Xerxes, your majesty, was so angry with Haman, her, and he was punished. And all of God's people, the Jews, were saved. Mordecai, hmm, wise, was even given Haman's er old job as one of the king's advisors. Esther, oh wow, had saved the day because she was brave and she understood that she'd become queen for a purpose. Isn't that a brilliant story? I've told you really a quite quick version of it. But why don't you look at the book of Esther yourself in the Bible? It's in the Old Testament, which is the first half of the Bible. Isn't it amazing to see how God put Esther in that position so she could rescue his people? I wonder where God has put you. In your home? In your school? With your friends? I wonder what he might have for you to do. Isn't that an exciting thought? Boys and girls, thanks so much for joining in that story with me. I know that you did a brilliant job and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Well, Sunday Clubbers, I have a challenge for you. I've heard that you're all really, really great at learning your memory verses. We would love it here at SCTV if you could send in videos of you saying your memory verses. You could say one memory verse. If you're feeling particularly brave, you could say them all in one video. If you don't want to do a video, you could also send in a piece of artwork to do with your memory verse. Or show us how you've been journaling your memory verse. It's completely up to you. And in a few weeks time, we'll mash it all up together and put it on KMPC SETV. So get to work. Hi boys and girls, it's Mo and Mabel back again with another game. Today, we are going to be doing a scavenger hunt. Yes, that's right, I am so excited. Okay, each time I am going to tell you an item that you need to go and find in your house. You have to find it as quickly as you can because Mo here is going to be going and doing the same thing. And the aim of the game is to get back with your item before Mo does. Does that sound like a plan? It sure does. Okay, ready for the first item. I want you to go 
and find a book. It could be any sort of book, boys and girls, a notebook, a story book. Off you go. Look who's here! I am out of breath, people! Well, did you beat it? Did you get back with your book before Mo? Okay, up next, I want you to go and find a pen. Go! An orange pen, just like me. Ho oh, ho ho, you are so funny, Mo. Okay, did you beat him? If you did, well done. Alrighty, up next, I want you to find a cushion or a pillow. Go! Mabel, I definitely think I won that one. I was so fast. Mm, I'm not so sure, Mo. The boys and girls at home are pretty good. Did you beat them? Okay, are you ready for the final item? I want you to go and find me a cuddly toy. Go! Look who's coming! I'm back! Did you beat me? Oh, boys and girls, did you? I think you maybe did. You all worked so hard and I'm sure you are exhausted after all that running around. And I'm sure whoever's at home would also love if you put all the items back where you find them. I hope Mo does the same in our house. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for playing along, and we will see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> oh, that Mo and Mabel crack me up. What are they like? Anyway, that's a wrap for another week, boys and girls. I hope you have a great week, and I hope we've all learned something about being brave. Remember, boys and girls, keep singing! And I'll see you next week for some more KMPC SETV.